Now, now, you know, I don't see no remarks. And me, maybe I don't play. I don't play. We're going to go by the program. Amen? Amen. 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 Because I, I, I really don't play. Amen. So I'm nothing, Reverend Boyd, and some of these people tell me to do different when we identify the program. Okay, we have the Old and the New Testament, Reverend Dennis Boyd. Then we have Solo to God be the glory, Miss Angel Thomas. That's my daughter. <laughs> we have Claire, Minister Reverend Dennis. And then we got Remarks and Four Minutes. All right, Four Minutes. <laughs> I know this bishop over here, this is Lady Mean. And I look at me and say, Mean, you know, I know the Lord. He's going to cut you off. <laughs> All right, now, and then we have, um, they got the remark people here Mr. Raleigh Lee, Miss Fanny Dixon, Solo, Mr. Kenny Lowe, and Unity, Reverend Ronald Bowen. And then the, the people don't come up, the Undertaker people, and there are some wonderful people. We're going to get this uh, done because it ain't over yet. Amen? Amen. Amen. We're just going to do our part and let these people get on their way. Amen. Amen. Um, okay, okay. And I don't mind if nobody don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> we, we like the preacher. We like Of an archangel, angel, 
and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds yes. to meet the Lord in the air. Mm -hmm. And so shall ever, and so we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. Amen. May the Lord have a blessing. Thank you.
pray. Right. My God, Amen. truly I give honor to the pulpit. Pleasure. Pleasure. My Lord, Amen. I give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Amen. on yes. today. My purpose for being here is twofold. First of all, I'd like to say to the Bowens family that I extend you deepest condolences from the Roberts family, my family, amen. And the Bowens are my family. Praise God. Jesus. Every eye is closed, every head is bowed. Kind Father in Jesus' name. We just come before you this afternoon, oh God, in the humblest manner that we know how, Lord Jesus. Father God, before we ask you for anything, we want to thank you for everything, oh God. Lord, we thank you for this day, a day we've never seen before. Kind Father, we thank you for celebration of life on today, oh God. God, while some of our heads may be bowed, our eyes may be filled with tears, our heads may be locked in the burdens of our shoulders, oh God. God, we are not a people without hope. Hope, oh God, is what our faith has taught us. Hope, oh God, is what has brought us here, oh God. Father God, we have hope, oh Lord, that if we continue to live right, that if we continue to do right, if we continue to treat others well, oh God, my Lord Jesus, we'll see our loved ones when the God Christ is God. Father God, I just want to thank you, oh Lord. Father, while some of us may be grieving on today, oh God, Father God, many of us have sat right where this family is sitting, oh God. Father, but let them know, oh Lord, Grief will not overtake them, oh God. Father God, when the grief spirit tries to creep in, oh God, Father, let them know, oh Lord, that you are right there with them, oh God. Father God, when the phone calls stop, Father, when the food delivery stop, Father God, when the visitors stop, Lord, help them to realize, oh God, that you are still with them, Father. Father, let them know, O oh God, that there is a comforter in you, O oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus, and when this celebration is over, O oh God, and we have to tend to the business, O oh God, of putting affairs in order, Lord Jesus. Father God, I pray, O oh God, that you give them the strength that they need, O oh God, to do the things necessary, O oh God. So, Father, we just thank you on today for being our Lord, oh God, for being our Savior, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you, we bless you, and we magnify your holy and righteous name. And it is in the name of Jesus that we do pray. Amen, and thank you, Lord. Thank you, God.
I have messages for the family and for you from the CEO of Landmark Worldwide and his wife and other members of the leadership team around who know the contribution he made to others through the work he did at Landmark. And I, and I want to say something about that. What that provided Henry was a way to express himself and to bring something to the world that the world never heard before because he wanted to teach us about how our humanity works in a unique way that actually gets in the way sometimes of us operating as good people, if you will. And he wanted to give us a way to deal with that, and he did. Um, the reason I'm speaking about that is that I have, um, I'm, I'm an internationally uh, respected uh, expert in child sexual abuse prevention. And Henry and I worked together to find a way to give those people, those adults, who have that uh, sickness, a way out. And I wanted you to know about that because it's something not everyone did know. Mm -hmm. Not everyone did know that Henry worked with me and he worked with therapists in the Dallas area to bring healing to those the psychological community thinks can't be healed. And so I want to share with you a message from one of those men. Because Henry not only worked with me in developing programs, but he also worked with my friend Stuart Couch, who's a sex therapist, registered sex therapist. And he and Henry did weekly sessions with convicted offenders, empowering them to live a holy and gracious life. And one of them wrote a message to you, a parolee that he worked with. And I want you to hear the difference he made that you might not know. It had nothing to do with accounting. It had nothing to do with his business. It had to do with his heart for humanity. And his heart for holding people to be what God intended them to be, not what they thought of themselves even. And so I want you to hear what he had to say and how what this man had to say about the difference Henry made. He said, sorry to hear about Henry. This was a man who, was, who spent 18 years in prison for committing offenses against other human beings. Sorry to hear about Henry. He was a true blessing to me in the time we were together. Henry always said, you can do almost anything. You either do it or you don't. Example, I was almost killed. No. You weren't killed. Second, you can't be mad at someone. This is so powerful. I'm going to listen carefully to this. You can't be mad at someone because you're enlightened about something and they are not. Now, how many times do we do that, right? And this is a parolee telling us you can't do that because you're enlightened and they're not. You can't be mad at them. Henry taught me to speak in absolutes and to apply grace to my speech to lift people up, not to look down on them. Love him. <coughs> Loved him. God bless and be well. Things are well with us. Now, I'm a, I appreciate that, I am a singer. And uh, by trade. And I always think of people as doing music, right? And the first song I thought, think of every time I think of Henry is not necessarily a gospel song. And I, so I thought, okay, if I'm going to sing a couple of lines of a song, I ought to pick a gospel song. And then I realized that if it expresses who someone is, it is the gospel. Because Henry was love. So let me just say this to you. Love, love is never gone. As we travel on, love's what we remember. Kiss today goodbye and point us for tomorrow. Wish us luck, the best to you.
Thank you. We have a Mr. Riley Reed and Ms. Stanley Dixon. Would you all come up at the time? taught me French, taught me about chemistry. And he was a good friend. <coughs> I miss him. And we used to discuss certain things about the Bible. about God. And we did a lot of things together. I enjoy being with them. And I'm going to listen. <coughs> That's all I have to say. Amen. Amen. Okay, we have a Miss Danny Dixon. Then I went to Wordy. I said, Wordy, he's like, Fanny, he ain't going nowhere. He'll be back. <laughs> and they knew that when Henry hit Georgia, they didn't even have to look. <laughs> it was just something about when Henry hit Georgia, I was at Darlene's house. <laughs> I was knocking on the door. <laughs>
and there is there's communication with family members. Mm -hmm. But you know, sometimes when you see a number, you go, that's not a good number to see. Mm -hmm. And when I saw Darlene's number pop up on my cell phone, I was like, what has happened? So to you all, all I want to say is John 14, let not my heart be troubled. Amen. Mm -hmm. Besides that, in the 23rd Psalm, let not your heart be
of the Lord. Put your hands together. Give him praise. Give him praise for the life of Brother Henry and and memory of 
a beloved brother, mm -hmm. uncle, cousin, friend, child of God. Mm -hmm. The time of passing has come in our family. The move to another realm that the heavenly hosts have come for one in the family. And the separation grieves us. But the joy of the promise of everlasting life soothes our weary hearts. Job tells us that our days are few. We are like a flower that blooms and then withers away. Yes. Our lives are like a shadow yes. that are here and then we're gone. Yes. God reminds us repeatedly, my brothers and sisters, of the brevity of our lives. Why does God, amen, remind us repeatedly of the shortness of our lives? All right. Well, I believe he does it, my brothers and sisters, because he does not want us to waste our time. Have mercy. James 4 and 14 teaches us, whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time, and then vanisheth away. Yes, yes. Now, because our time here is short, because our time here is quick, God instructs us to number our days. Yes. But what does he mean by numbering our days? All right. All right. Amen. It not only means to count our days, right. but to prepare right. to meet our God. Right. We are not to waste our lives, my brothers and sisters. We ought to make preparations to live each day mm -hmm. to the best of our ability yes, and also prepare for eternity. Mm -hmm. right. Right. You know, many folk know how to prepare to live in this world. Yeah. All right. But this world is not our home. Right. We have to make preparations to leave right. this world. Yes. Amen. Amen. Moses said in Psalms chapter 90 and verse number 10, the days of our years are three score years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet is there strength and labor and sorrow. For it is soon cut off and we fly away. Now, if you have lived to be 80 years old, you are shown up blessed. And you are to give God praise for that. See, our days are few here, and the few days that we have can be stressful and full of trouble. Yeah. And this word trouble here means turmoil, mm -hmm. agitation, mm -hmm. raging and trembling. Don't we all know something about this? When you think back over your life, what you remember about your life. How many of your days were filled with frustration, with fury, or with fear? Can you even count those days? Now, I remember some bad days in my life, but I thank the Lord that he has helped me to forget most of those bad times. Thank the Lord we do not have to deal with trouble every day. Yeah. But times like these, my brothers and sisters, will come into our lives. Life has stressful times created by things like sickness, death, financial setbacks, war, betrayal, and accidents. But praise the Lord, he enables us to go through the dark waters of stressful times. Yeah. And he reminds us that this too shall pass. Henry, like all of us, had his share of troubled days. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But we would still have to say, as Henry said to me one day, God is good. Yeah. In spite of all that we have to go through. Yeah. Amen. In spite of all the sickness and pain and sorrow that we have to deal with, yeah. God is still good. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Last spring, I witnessed a miracle. I was walking from my mailbox when I stepped 
this or stop rather dead in my tracks. I could hardly believe what I was seeing. There in the cracks of the curb was a little white flower growing without ample salt, mm -hmm. surrounded by nothing more obvious to the eye than cement and rock. Mm -hmm. What an unlikely spot mm -hmm. for a flowering plant mm -hmm. to struggle up into the air. Uh -huh. What was the likelihood that this lingering seed would find a place to root and grow in a cement jungle. Mm -hmm. Even more miraculous was the fact that it had not been trampled under somebody's foot. Right. Well, what courage it took to struggle to be born and then to survive. All right, all right. But that's life, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Life makes the best of all the challenges that it faces mm -hmm. and holds on to hope in the few days that we have on this earth. Mm -hmm. We come forth like a flower, mm -hmm. not knowing what the future holds. Yes. And we face life's troubles head on, for life is full of trouble. Mm -hmm. I believe that's what the songwriter had in mind when he says, everywhere I go mm -hmm. is trouble. Mm -hmm. And then another one said, trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's something else life gives us besides trouble. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. It gives us strength. Yes. The hidden strength that is made available by our awesome creator. Mm -hmm. Who knows every one of our needs. Mm -hmm. Even when we plant ourselves in the cracks of life, mm -hmm. God is there to increase our inner strength mm -hmm. if we will only just ask him. Yes. Won't he do it for you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're in trouble right now, you can learn, amen, a lesson from Brother Henry. Oh, amen. amen. You can learn how to say God is good yeah. even in the midst yeah. of your trouble. Yeah. 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 Leave us face trouble like everyone else. And it's all a part of living life in this place we call yeah. the world. Yeah. Now, if you are a believer, trouble will come in your life. Yeah. But you can expect to be victorious yeah. over your trouble yeah. and any kind of trouble. Mm -hmm. In fact, if you are a child of God today, Coming out of your trouble is one of the promises of your salvation. As children of God, we learn that salvation is much more or has much more to offer than simply going to heaven when we die. Right. We learn that we can count on God in the here and in the now also. Yeah. Salvation provides tangible benefits for the children of God. Yeah. Right here and right now. Yeah. On earth as it is in heaven. Yeah. Benefits like unspeakable joy. Yeah. Unexplainable strength. Yeah. And unfathomable forgiveness. Yeah. Even when the trouble is of our own making. God is so faithful to deliver us from the evil. Yeah. Even if it's our own fault. Yeah. Isn't that right? And it's a good thing we can rely on God to deliver us time and time again. Because we usually get into trouble on our own. And then we seek him to deliver us from our trouble. Amen. We don't eat right. And then we ask God to restore our health. We don't choose the right relationships. And then we ask God to get us out of the mess that we got ourselves in. But that's okay. That's okay. Because you can't wear out God's mercy. Thank you, Lord. His mercy is from everlasting to everlasting. And if we could have worn out God's mercy, I believe we would have already worn out God's mercy. Henry's relationship
relationship with God, I believe, was built on trust. Wow. Trust that God would continue to pour out his mercy mm -hmm. and patience every day, even when life, amen, falls into cracks. Yeah. A little boy told his Sunday school teacher one time that he loved his mother with all his strength. Mm. What do you mean by that, the teacher asked the little boy. He said, when my mom brings home the groceries, I bring them up to the fourth floor apartment all by myself. Those bags are quite heavy. And it takes all my strength to carry those bags up four flights of steps. Isn't that loving my mom with all my strength? I believe Brother Henry loved the Lord with all his strength. And when he could no longer carry on for the Lord, the Lord carried him home. Yes. It's the promise we have from God. When trouble comes, it'd be good to know that we can rest in Jesus. Yeah. We rest knowing that his power comes and overcomes yes. all adversity. We rest knowing that his love supersedes hatred. Yes, we rest knowing that his forgiveness erases our thoughts. We, 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 we are born of a woman. We live here in this world but a few days. And those days can be filled with trouble. Yes. But Christ is our comfort. Amen. He is our balm in the midst of battle. He is our deliverance in the midst of defeat. Our hope in the midst of heartaches. He is our faith in the midst of our fears. He is our glory in the midst of our grief. Yes, yes, yes. And he is our triumph in the midst of our troubles. Yes, Henry was born of a woman. Mm -hmm. Had a few days of trouble in this world. Yes. But trouble have now given way right. to triumph. Mm -hmm. right. Because greater is he yeah. that's within me. Yeah. Than he who is in the world. Yeah. Earthly tongues have given way to heavenly thrills for Brother Henry. Mm -hmm. Earthly discord have given way to heavenly harmony for him. Yeah. Earthly crises have given way to heavenly comfort. Now Henry can say it is well yeah. with my soul. He has inherited peace, yeah. a peace that surpasses all understanding. He has exchanged his troubles for trouble mm -hmm. because God is good. That's all I have for you. That's what Henry gave me. God is good. Amen. Amen. We, can, we, can, we can go home on that. Amen. Bless you. Okay, we're going to have the staff to come. The little staff to do come. And I'm not really mean. I'm really mean. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, let's give a hand clap of praise for the life and relationship of Mr. Henry Bell. When tomorrow starts without me, and I'm not here to see, if the sun should rise and find your eyes, all filled with tears for me. I wish so much you wouldn't cry the way you did today. While thinking of the many things we didn't get to say. 
I know how much you love me as much as I love you. And each time you think of me, I know you'll miss me too. But when tomorrow starts without me, please try to understand that an angel came and called me by my name and took me by the hand and said my place was ready in heaven far above and that I would have to leave behind all those I dearly love. Yeah. So when tomorrow starts without me, don't think we're far apart. For every time you think of me, I'm right here in your heart. Yeah. To the eulogist of the hour, Reverend Bowen. This family would have me to minister a heartfelt thank you for ministering and uplifting their hearts on today. To the other ministers of the gospel, musicianal staff, and program participants, this family would also have me to say thank you for assisting on today. Amen. To the visitors and friends who have traveled near and far, this family would have me to say first thank you for your presence here on today. Amen. They also would have me to say thank you for your phone calls, visits, prayers, floral arrangements, and any other acts of kindness that has been shown to them in their time of bereavement. This does conclude this portion of our service. The interment will take place at Georgia National Cemetery. For those that received a program, the address is listed in the program. We ask that you please do not tarry. Go directly to your vehicles, put in your bright lights and flashers on. If I could have three ladies to please come down at this time to stand in as flower attendants, three young ladies to please come down at this time. If everyone would please stand except for the immediate family and guests, please refrain from leaving out of the sanctuary until the family has been escorted out. And once again, we do say thank you. 